In this video, we will show you how Eva, a developer, can request access to her AWS account using ServiceNow. First, she connects to the CyberArk identity security platform using strong multi-factor authentication. After connecting to the platform, she selects the AWS account she wants to connect to. As you can see, the session is being initiated by CyberArk Secure Web Sessions, providing step recording and session protection. Currently, Eva can only connect with read-only access, but for her project, she requires power user access. So she's going to open up a request to request power user access to this AWS account. After submitting the request, a ServiceNow ticket will be generated, so Eva can open up the ServiceNow portal to track the current status of her request. In ServiceNow, she can find her open request under My Requests. Here she can find all the details of the request, including the role she requested, but more importantly, she can also find information about the cloud workspace owners who should approve the request. Now, Ana Lucia, the cloud workspace owner of this AWS account, can open up ServiceNow to either approve or deny the incoming request. She navigates to incoming requests to find Eva's last request. Here, she can find more information about the resource and the requested role. She can approve the request by changing the state to approved and updating the case. The request was approved, so the policy will automatically be generated for Eva. When Eva checks her request in service now, she can see that her request was approved. When Eva connects again to the AWS account through the CyberArk Identity Security Platform, as you can see, she can now connect with the Power Users Access role and finish her project. She can use the role for the time that she defined in the request. However, the access itself is provisioned every time Eva connects and deprovisioned every time she deconnects from the session. By integrating with ServiceNow, all of the requests can be managed centrally, providing complete visibility for both the end user, Eva, as well as the approver, Ana Lucia.